evening. Morning, dear. How are you? I'm not too bad. How are you Good doing? Yeah, really well, thanks. Thank you. Sit down there. We'll have a chat. What, what brings you here? <laughs> the crack, of course. It's Galway. Uh, tell me, how are you getting on? Really well, yeah. Yeah, I'm Galway as a spectator now for the second or third year, I think. I can't remember. But how does that feel? Are you getting used to it? Oh, yeah, very much so, yeah. Are you? Yeah. Easing oh, no. into it? Very much. Enjoying it. Nicely nice. cross on for breakfast. Nicely. I haven't had a jet, but I'm going to have a shortly, yeah. <laughs> I know, carefree breakfast <laughs> and evening meals, so no, good fun. <laughs> Um, but yeah, but God, it was brilliant. I love it. Do love you it. love it? I love it. I loved it when I was riding. Loved it as a spectator as well. There's just a, such a buzz in both at the race course and the town. My first introduction to racing really ever, you know, coming from a family that weren't big into horses, was Galway. Um, it was just one of these things that when I got to the age of maybe 16, it was like, can I go to the Galway races? I know. <laughs> what is that? What do you think that magic is? Ah, oh, sure. It, it, well, I suppose that's the age you're at, you're, 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 you're breaking out and like Galway is, is one of those places you can get away for a night, you can get away for a few nights and then as you can answer about 20 or 21 you're going for the week <laughs> and it's, it's, it's a hard week and even as a jockey it's, it's a long week when you're riding but you're obviously doing a bit of socialising as well so it's you're mixing it uh, but great fun, the town is brilliant, you know, the atmosphere, it's, it's, it's non-stop party. Even though that's what it's known, known for, the racing is obviously still serious and intense um, or do people think otherwise? Do they think it's it's not as serious? Or what what do you think the perception is? I know it is serious. I suppose from a jockey's perspective, it's because there's flat hand jumping. There's only a couple of races a day, so it's not as hectically busy. But the prizes are, are, are massive, and it's you know the plate and the hurdle especially. But any winner at Galway, it's hard to get a winner, and yeah. you celebrate it. And you've seen that in the TV over the last few days with you know syndicates having winners and the joy it brings. You know people long to be they, they long to have a runner at Galway. And then to get a winner is, is brilliant, you know. So to, to be here, get a winner, to win one of the big ones, it's, yeah. I hate to bring it up, but I've heard you never nabbed the goal we played. Am I right in saying I that? I know, I know. Yeah. Would you actually, put on the boots again go out? No. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, and everything my close. I was third one year. That was the okay. best it is. Okay. I know, not even remotely close. So I had about 20 attempts. But you did have good, a, a good few successful days here. Oh, I did. I had lots of winners yeah. here, which is great. And yeah. as I say, it's hard to get. There's only about 18 jump races for the week. Okay. So it's not, you don't have that many opportunities to get winners. Um, and that's why it's so, it's just such a buzz to get one. It's like a, it's a mini Cheltenham in ways that way. Is it, is it, would you describe it as that? Oh, it is. It is. Like it, when Punch Town is over, everyone looks forward to, to Galway. That's the next big one. Like you have Killarney and those meetings and they're brilliant. But Galway is, is, is probably the, the peak of the summer. And okay. it's, it's, yeah, it's where everyone wants to, to get their next big one. Obviously, you are and always have been here in a work capacity, but do you get to soak up the buzz of Air Square of the city as well? Oh, yeah, over the years, for sure. And probably more so in, uh, you know, 20 years ago when I was starting out, or 25 years ago, I should say. <laughs> um, yeah, there was probably a little bit more tolerance to the social side of it. So, gotcha. um, yeah. That's really changed, has it? It has, but that's changed in all sports. Yeah. Rugby, golf, everything, you'll see that. So it's, it's, it's different and it's right too. And I rode until I was 40, which was brilliant. And it probably wouldn't have happened if things hadn't settled down a bit. So. What do you mean by that now? Elaborate. Well, sure, yeah, yeah, you're not burning the candle as much in both yeah, ends. Yeah, yeah. So minding it's, it's, yourself. Yeah, you're minding your, your, your body, your fitness, your weight, everything. So it's, it, the sport is more professional than it was then. Yes. But we, I'm, I'm glad I got to taste both sides because it was good fun. Your family are with you this week. Is that a tradition? Would you always have brought the kids along as well? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we I've stayed here in the Connacht for years. Um, brilliant hotel for you know kids, fun uh, kids club and swimming pool and everything. So they've always enjoyed it. Uh, you'd probably go up and down when I was younger. You'd have stayed for the whole week, but then as more as the more going on with kids and whatnot, you'd travel up and down Monday, Tuesday, and maybe okay. stay a couple of nights and go back again. So it's it's a long week. Yes. Um, but it's great. But fun. worth it. Oh yeah. Worth the madness. <laughs>